In this next example, we will be finding the square root of negative 25. In order to deal with the square root of negative numbers, we first need to review the concept of imaginary numbers. For imaginary numbers, we have the square root of negative 1, that's equal to the imaginary number i, which is just a variable or a representation of a value. Now the square root of i equal to negative 1 will help us in this case, but before we jump into the square root of negative 25, we need to review one more math concept which is that the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. This means that if we have the square root of two values, we can then rewrite it as the square root of one of the values times the square root of the other value. For tw negative 25, we can rewrite this as negative 1 times 25. Now we can rewrite the square root of negative 25 as the square root of negative 1 times 25 and then use this math rule to rewrite this as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 25. Now we can see using our rule from before that the square root of negative 1 is just i. And then knowing that 5 times 5 equals 25, we can rewrite the square root of 25 as 5. Therefore, the square root of negative 25 is i times 5, or as we usually write it, 5i. This will be the solution to our problem. So the square root of negative 25 will be 5i, where i represents an imaginary number.